my focus has been on a, this little place called Paracas in Peru, south of Lima. And the royal people of this area, according to conventional archaeology, suddenly appeared about 3,500 years ago and disappeared 2,000 years ago. The only aspect of this culture which is studied by conventional archaeology are their textiles. But they had incredible um, funerary practices. Um, no one literally knows where they came from. This is uh, one of the finest examples of a Paracas ancient skull. And again, as you can see with the hair, the hair is not only reddish, it's also wavy, and it's finer than Native American hair. Native Americans have black hair, not this color. Initial testing indicates this is genetic. And a German study that was done about five years ago comparing the genetics of people of the highlands of Peru, like where the famous Inca lived, and on the coast of Peru, found out that there's a significant difference between them. That the coastal population is quite different from the highland population. And so that begs the question, is it possible that part of the genetic makeup of the Paracas people is not from the Berry land bridge, that they came by some other way? The obvious answer would be by the ocean. If you've ever been to or have read anything about the Nazca lines and figures, archaeologists believe that this, which is called the astronaut, was made by the Paracas people who inhabited the area prior to the Nazca people who made the spider and other figures. And this is what's called the candelabra. It's 450 feet tall. It can only be seen from the ocean. It's located at Paracas, Peru, Dano, Tuthanam. But it was through him that I was able to uh, uh, have samples through the proper channel sent to a geneticist in the United States. Again, I've had a number of different doctors come and look physically at these skulls, and I can see the way their brain process works, because through their training, they know what a human being looks like. And when they look at this, they're fascinated, they spend hours looking at them, and then I never hear from them again. Of many things around the world that don't fit that paradigm, and I think we owe it to ourselves to understand the truth about who we are, how old we are, and what we have accomplished in the past. Thank you. Great. Haven't you been able to lead the, well, the thing that's stimulated me and got me motivated to get in touch with you was the reference that I came across, which says that some genetic tests that have been done have found that the DNA in the skulls that were, quote, unknown in any human primate around the world so far. That's true. That slide, unfortunately, was missing. But initial DNA testing uh, has shown that there are segments of DNA from at least one Paracas skull that doesn't fit Homo sapiens um, or Denisovan or any known humanoid. And so that became something which was blasted around the planet, and of course I was attacked heavily for it. But that is why now we're working with the Peruvian government and having multiple samples sent to a genetics laboratory. Or in fact, uh, the University of California uh, contacted me two days ago and said that they would do free genetic testing um, for us because this is an incredibly expensive procedure. If you have your blood sample taken, of course you can find out wherever it is that your ancestors came from, etc. But these people mysteriously died out 2,000 years ago, and DNA breaks down just like any organic material would. So something which is, DNA which is 2,000 years ago requires the most advanced uh, uh, computer programming to try to reassemble these tiny pieces of DNA. And that's basically where, I, where we are at right now. And how far away are we from some results of this process? Um, we are within months of getting a bit more initial results. 
He actually did the test once and couldn't believe what he found. I was staring at my computer screen for half an hour. And then he did two further tests. But as soon as he said that, then I was attacked, of course, by conventional archaeologists. And so that's why we have to keep it kind of hush-hush until we get a broad spectrum of results in order to uh, be able to actually publish anything. But, but your own belief still is that these are humans? Uh, I, I can't say. What I will say is I doubt that, that uh, the ancestors of these people are what we call homo sapiens. And again, stuff like this is just like from the movie Indiana, from the Indi Indiana Jones film where they found the Ark of the Covenant, they put it in a box and they hid it away. There are thousands if not millions of artifacts which conventional science refuses to even look at because they don't fit the conventional story. Thanks very much. Thank you.